All right, we're talking right now with Noah from the Franthaw Theater. She's also going to be accompanying Gildor at the on Saturday tonight. Uh-huh. And I'm in awe. I'm in awe. <laughs> Hi, Noah. Hello. And we won't even try to pronounce your name again because we can't do it. We already found that fact out, right? Uh huh. I can show you. I can tell you. And it's Achinoa Manini is my full name. Do you like spit on people though when you do that or no? Oh, Oscar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, it was there. I couldn't. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Well, I have to tell you no. a funny story, okay? okay? I once did a concert in, in Toronto for about 2,000 travel agents. And I was really afraid of, you know, how it would work out and everything. And But the, the, their reactions were wonderful. And the guy who was, who was um, emceeing was, was trying to... Um, he, when he introduced me at the beginning of the show, he couldn't say my name no matter what. And I went over it with him a million times. This is before I came up with the shortened version of Noah. And my partner's name is Gildor, so he would say, and let's give a warm welcome to Aurora and Gildor. <laughs> That's all he can manage. So I figured maybe I would try to sort of make the, the name a little easier. And, and when I went came back for an encore, the, the audience was all enthusiastic. They were all up on their feet. And I said, this is the time to try to have them maybe be able to say my name. So I said, well, when someone comes up to you and, and says a name like Achinoa, the first thing you say is, ah, and you're in shock. You're like, oh, my God, what is that? And then you try to tackle the most, the most difficult part, and you say, well, that's and you go over it a bunch of times, and then after a while you get really depressed, and you say, no, no, it's never going to work. But then, you know, you, you know that's the girl's name. you got to try to say it. So, so you think, well, um, so you have, ah, hey, no. Oh, jeez. You should be, you should be ah, doing it. Hey, you should. no, um. <laughs> So, so the whole the, the audience is all psyched and they clap hands and they're all laughing. And then I do my encore and then the guy comes back on stage and says, "Let's give a warm thanks, a heartfelt thanks to our guest, Ruru and Gildor." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "No way, it's never gonna work." <laughs> no <one> works for us. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, and if you're gonna do that that part over again a few times, I would listen to it over and over again. Okay. <laughs> you have a fan for life. Oh, uh, definitely. <laughs> but do we have to like just we meet in Israel, or do you like come here often? Well, um, I don't come here as often as I do to Europe. We do a lot of touring in Europe. Well, I'm moving to Europe then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're from Tel Aviv. It's a pretty nice city. Well, but I do come to the states every once in a while. In fact, uh, we have a really, um, a really special concert in the end of March in New York at Carnegie Hall, which we're really looking for. Carnegie to. Hall, that's excellent. Yeah, yeah, we're really psyched about that. Right, um, no, <laughs> what's your favorite song on this whole album? Which one, I don't know, speaks to you, or is there a reason you have a favorite one? That's really tough, you know, because it's like you have to choose which one of your kids you like more. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, yeah. I can't, I can't really do that. I really like them all. Did you write these your, on your alone? Well, yeah, um, I, I write... Most of my songs by myself. I write, I write the lyrics to all of them, and on the music, I either write it on my own or I collaborate with uh, with Gil Dora, which has been my partner for some years now, and he's a great musician and a great friend and a wonderful guitar player. Uh, we also do the arrangements and the production and everything together. So uh, this is all this is all original music. Yeah. That you have a deep level to your songs. Yeah, there's. So I t- I try to deal with a with a lot of of. of different emotions i don't know is really a song that that i think a lot of people can probably relate to it's when you when you you know you're just about to make a really big step or or do something that you know is really important to you or very very big and and just at the moment of truth you're thinking well i don't know can i can i actually handle this can i hack it can i am i strong enough to 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 bear those winds that are trying to put me down I'd like to thank you very much for talking with us, okay, and I'll be—I'll I'll, I'll still be the one—I'll still be the one out there drilling in the front. Okay. Okay, and come and say hi after the show. Oh, uh, definitely. definitely. Okay. We're all—we're going to be there. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. I enjoy this. Hi, Oscar. Hi, how are you? Fine. Uh, judging by the amount of laughter you emanate from Noah, I mean, you must be a bunch of laughs. <laughs> what is that? A bunch of love? Yeah, I guess you could say that, yeah. <laughs> He's a bunch Hi, of something, that's for, I'm a, something, yeah, I'm a, for sure. A bunch of something? A bunch of something. <laughs> All right. No, I'm kidding. Um, Gil, how long have you been? Oh. Noah mentioned that you were her um, teacher, but how long have you been doing your guitar? By the way, that was Deborah and I'm Oscar. You, oh, you know that's that. a okay. fair question. <laughs> no, I studied... Um, I started studying uh, at the age of uh, sort of 12, 11 and a half, which was in 1963. Wow, so you, you've been at it for I'm, I'm, a couple of years. I'm an old man. <laughs> oh, no. And, uh, You're younger than Oscar. I've been for like about, you know, <laughs> 32 you. years, so... So, um, hey, you look. You, you look. Uh, you do. He does look younger than I do. So. Yeah, yeah, he does. We're looking at your picture on yeah. your CD oh. that you have with Noah. 
and you look younger than how, how old you say you were now i'm 42 oh okay well then okay but you, you, you look good you look good for your age you well uh, there, there must be no well, there must be no yeah <laughs> <laughs> there you go here's your valentine i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm trying to my best. I mean, there's not much a person can do about it, but uh, I think Noah really helps to to um, to low the the average. <laughs> yeah, I can yes, I can yeah. understand that. Darn, it must be rough touring with her, right? Yeah, I can I can understand that. Now. Um, no, it's not rough. Actually, it's a lot of fun. It's it's um, it's very uh, fulfilling, uh, mainly because of the fact that that uh, so far we've been touring just as a duet, and we don't have a a whole band and a lot of problems with you know with 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 a uh, big crew and backliners right. and all that to deal with and you will sort of. but things are happening all over the world and and we are very lucky because with this format we we are able to get to many places where a regular tour will be much too expensive and, much, and hard to to get to so so we we try to really build a fan base everywhere uh, based and you on do have you're right. You do have access to many parts of the world, especially at this time. And your music is fabulous. Thanks. The combination is beautiful. And you have two lifelong fans in both Oscar and I. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you, so thank you Gil. We are um, we running out of time. I apologize. Okay. But thank you so much for speaking with us. Sure. And we will see you tonight after the concert. All right. Yeah, I'll, so I'll be much. the one. You, you'll know me. I'll be the one screaming, <laughs> No! <laughs> That'll be me. That'll be me. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm, bye. Bye-bye.